to Whitley, Missouri. A little over halfway there. You made it, Missouri! Carissa Whitley has a 4.2 GPA and has been listed in Who's Who among American high school students for two years in a row. Hi, my name is Marissa Whitley, and I will be a freshman communications major at St. Louis University. In high school, I created the Diversity Club, which promoted unity through volunteerism in my hometown of Springfield, Missouri. top five, Missouri. Give a hand to the top five finalists. Okay, so the judges will pick their top five choices and I... Missouri. Mizzou. Missouri. You told me, I remember I saying to you, like, um, during rehearsals, I said, Missouri. I mean, that's not the way they do it, right? No, it's not Missouri. It's Missouri. Thanks for setting everyone straight. What about Mizzou? Mizzou is Mizzou. Mizzou is Mizzou. Yeah, you can say that. Yeah. All right, great. I'm going to ask you your question here. Set straight. Oh, you better be honest on this one, okay? Don't be scared. Here it is. All right, what's the best thing about boys? The best thing about boys is they are cute, and if they're honest, then that's a another added plus. But the best thing about boys is they don't have to know that you like them for you to like them, and flirting is the best thing in the world. You flirting? All right, go ahead and reach right in there and grab a question from one of the other delegates. Flirting, flirting, keep that in mind. Here we go. All right. This is from Delaware. And she asks, uh, are school uniforms a good or bad idea and why? Well, I have mixed emotions about school uniforms because on one hand, the kids that can't afford the Calvin Kleins and the polo jeans won't feel the peer pressure to go out and maybe even steal those clothes. And on the other hand, we need self-individuality. And I think that really adds that um, without school uniforms. So I can go either way on that. Thank you, Mizzou. Missouri. Thank you, delegates. You know, I have to say the question... Missouri. Ready for the final question. Here we go, Missouri. President Bush's daughters, Jenna and Barbara, have had well-publicized drinking problems with underage drinking. Have they been treated fairly by the media? Well, I think that when you are in a position like they are, you are automatically a role model for the rest of teenagers in today's society. And so I think that um, underage drinking is a huge problem. And for them to be caught doing that, it only, not only lets themselves down, but it kind of puts a damper on the whole, the whole system and the whole teenage community as well. Thank you, Missouri. Great job, everyone. Now it's all in the hands of the judges who will rank the top five in order of their personal choice. In other words, we are minutes away from the crowning of the Miss Teen USA 2001.
Take us through the next 24 hours, what, what happens to uh, the new Miss Teen USA, what will happen to her? She will have her very first press conference today after she wins. How freaky. Yeah, and then she has her very own coronation ball. Everyone's there, like, partying her, you know, her crown. And then tomorrow she has photo shoots and, you know, just, you know, the whole business. <laughs> Wonderful life. Well, thank you, Jillian. We love you. We're having fun. The big decision is coming up. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Ladies, if you'll take a walk with us. If for any reason the new Miss Teen USA can't fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take over. The first runner-up is New York. And so the Miss, so the new Miss Teen USA 2001 is Missouri. Congratulations. Congratulations. the new Miss Teen USA 2001. to usher better than Ezra jacket ads and to Mandy Moore. Thank you very much, Brian. You rock. Everybody, you all rock. Have an awesome night. Bye-bye. Seattle cop Tonight, John Kane on an is on the search for a missing woman. It's led him to a little town with a big secret. Now he's about to discover that in Wolf Lake, nothing is what it seems. There are those who can move between the world of...